them back to their own communities and educate their local chapters and local communities. So it's a way for us to spread awareness and get people the technology that they need. They also do a peer mentoring program through Gagudet University, and then there's the award-winning Hearing Loss magazine. And when that magazine comes out, there's always a very topical information in there. Um, today when you leave, you're going to get the Walk for Hearing issue of the magazine, and where the next issue that's coming out is all about um, your job and the job market and, and how to function out in the workplace. So they try to pick topics that are very important to different people and focus on them throughout the year. So let me tell you a little bit about the funds that we raise. So now that's what we do. But let me tell you how we fund what we do. The funds raised through the New England Walk for Hearing directly benefit the local community. The local HLA chapters are funded by the revenues raised through the walk. And they use these money, this money, to have hearing loss related programs, assistive technology, college scholarships, captioning at their local meetings. And 40% of every dollar that you raise in New England stays at the local level which is unlike a lot of other national philanthropic organizations. So usually the money is funded to national and then it trickles down to the local level. Now right off the bat, 40% of everything you raise will stay here to use for local programs and services. There's also a wide range of nonprofit organizations that support the hearing loss, hearing loss um, who raise funds through our alliance program. And what an alliance is, it's another nonprofit organization that signs up to walk with the Walk for Hearing. And everything, out of all the money they raise, they take back that 40% to use for their own programs and services. What HLAA realized is that there's a lot of organizations out there doing good work. And we couldn't possibly spend the money as well as if we gave it back to those organizations that are already doing this work. So the Clark School, for example, there's two um, locations of the Clark School. Whatever Clark School raises their alliance, 40% of that money goes back to the Clark School to use for their own programs and services. So if you are a part of another organization, e.g. Bell, um, we have um, churches. We have in New York City, we have St. Anne's Church for the Deaf, and they um, come and they raise money and they pay for all the interpretation services at their um, church. We have projects, looping projects. This wonderful um, loop that we have here today, um, one of the projects that we're doing in New York City as we're looping New York City and the local chapter is taking their 40% and putting it towards looping churches, synagogues, theaters. Um, so if you have a project that you know will directly benefit the hearing loss community, you can sign up to be an alliance and you can use that money to go back and provide that program or that service. You can't have a pizza party, you, you know, you can't take everyone to lunch, but what you can do is bring in speakers, um, colleges can bring in um, special speakers to their classrooms, their audiology programs, their speech and language programs, so it's a wonderful way to give back to the community. All right, so this is why we're all here. How do we get started? How are you going to register your team? Well, you're going to register your team online. And the first thing you're going to do, and I didn't say this in the beginning, but this PowerPoint presentation, when you all showed up today, you were asked to give your email address. After this presentation, I'm going to email you all a link to this presentation. So you don't have to take notes. You barely have to remember what I said because you're going to be able to go home, and you're going to be able to pull all these slides up and get all this information, and then anyone who didn't come today and who's on our website already will be able to we'll send that link out to them. So if they miss today, they're still going to get all this good information. So the first thing you're going to do is go to our website. Once you get to the website, you're going to see a list of cities on the left side of the page, and you're going to pick um, Brighton, Mass, because that's the location of the walk. That's the actual town that the walk is in, and you're going to click on that. Then the next page that you see is the, um, this is the New York City page, but you would be the, the Massachusetts page. And right above where it says Top Teams, there's a purple registration button. And you click on that button, and then it brings you to this page. So are you going to start a team? Maybe you're brand new and you've never walked with us before. Um, so you're starting a team. 
maybe your cousin signed up and you want to join their <coughs> team, or maybe you don't want a team at all. Maybe you're just you and you want to come and you just want to walk and raise money, you can sign up as an individual. Now, here's where it gets tricky. This website, I can say to you, is fabulous. It's not. So let's just be honest. It's difficult. It's tricky. People get frustrated. People say, well, I'm not even signing up because this website is so horrible. So when that happens, you get to this point and you get flustered. You stop and walk away. And you go back a few screens until you see my email address and you email me and I will walk you through the rest of the process. And if I can't do it, I have a really great expert who will be able to get you through it. Don't let yourself get hung up on the website where it keeps you from fundraising and raising awareness and helping us do all the great things we need to do because you're frustrated with the computer. That's not what we want to happen. If I have to register you myself, I have no problem doing that. But I can tell you, this thing, this website is not easy to deal with. So I'm putting it out there and I give you my email address, I will give you my phone number, you call me, and I will make sure your team gets online and gets started fundraising. Okay, so here's the other thing. So we're, this year,